What specific skills did you acquire working with the incubator ladies who launch both here in New York City and in Cape Town, South Africa? I think I've always been a guy's girl. Like I grew up with boys. I always like ruled the roost with my little, you know, boyfriends growing up in kindergarten. We'd brush our teeth before kindergarten together. I was kind of the ringleader. And so it wasn't until a little later on in life that I really um, valued kind of female relationships and connections. and. Um, so I first got involved with Ladies Who Launch when I started Sococo and it was just such an incredible support network of women, helping women and really encouraging them. But just to even have these women kind of behind you and giving you ideas and encouraging you and telling their friends about your business and pushing you forward, it was really powerful for me. Um, it changed my relationships with women in general, um, which, was, which was wonderful. And so. I, that support, I realized, was so crucial when starting a business, having someone there being your cheerleader and on your down days, you know, someone you could call and could kind of, you know, help you pick your chin up. Um, and it was, it, it, to, it really helped me in the early success of my first business. And when I moved back to South Africa, I realized that South Africa is still, you know, pretty far behind actually when it comes to women, um, it, you know, female empowerment. And I realized it would be incredible there because I actually knew a lot of women who, you know, had just started businesses or were thinking of starting businesses or who had businesses and wanted to take them to the next level. And I thought kind of being part of this network as well of women worldwide and in, um, at the time they weren't worldwide, they were just kind of in the, the States, in the Northeast, I think. Um, but being kind of being able to tap into that would be incredible. Um, and, and I loved it and I worked with everyone there from people who had fashion design companies to um, advertising agencies to uh, manufacturing, you know, different types of manufacturing businesses. And uh, it, it was not only did I personally make some, in, make some incredible friends and business mm -hmm. contacts there, I, you know, got to help and be part of these women taking their businesses, either launching them or taking them to the next level and giving and kind of being part of that support network, which was really nice.